Hey, do you have a Labrador puppy? Are you struggling to crate train that lab puppy? In this short video, I'm going to show you how to crate train your lab puppy fast in five easy steps so you can save time and frustration. And you won't have to deal with situations like this. Also, I'm going to give you some pro tips, so make sure to stay and watch the end because you don't want to miss out on these pro tips. But before we begin, here's a quick question. Do puppies prefer to sleep in bed with you or in a crate? Stay with me and I'll give you the answer after step five. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is pick a command word that you want to use when you want your puppy to go to the crate. Just pick something like crate, kennel, bed, home, Din sanctuary. sanctuary. Okay, maybe not sanctuary. Just keep it simple. No more than two words. How to crate train a Labrador puppy fast. Step one, introduce the puppy to the crate. Bring your puppy to the crate, then hold a treat in front of them. Let them sniff it and then put it just inside the crate door. When your puppy goes in the crate to get the treat, say your command word and praise your puppy. As your puppy gets comfortable going into the crate, start putting the treat a little further back until it's all the way to the back of the crate. Remember, use your command word and praise your puppy every time it goes into to the crate. Proceed to step two only when your puppy is going into the crate without hesitation. How to great train a Labrador puppy fast. Step two, feed the puppy in the crate. When it's feeding time, take a bowl over to the crate and put it just far enough in that your puppy has to go into the crate to eat. Remember, always use your command word when they go into the crate. Each feeding, put the bowl of food a little further back in the crate. Once your Labrador is completely comfortable going into the crate, calmly close the door while it's eating and then open it up when it's done. Close the door in a smooth, fluid motion, not a jerky fast slam. You don't want to do anything that will startle the puppy. After about six feedings with the door closed, start keeping the door closed for just about one minute after the puppy is finished eating. Slowly keep increasing the time the door is closed after feeding time. Just increase it about one to two minutes at each feeding. If your puppy starts whining, you have increased the time too fast. Back it off and start over. This is important, so listen up. If your puppy starts whining or crying, do not let them out until they stop. Again, if your puppy starts whining or crying, do not let them out until they stop. If you let them out while whimpering, they will start doing it all the time. Without saying a word, just stand or sit quietly by the crate until your puppy starts whining. Then just calmly open the door and let them out. Also, it's important to take them outside and go potty before you feed them to make sure they aren't whimpering because they have to go to the bathroom. How to crate drain a Labrador puppy fast step three. Practice with longer crating times. Call your puppy over to the crate, put a treat in the crate, and when they go in, remember to say your command word and praise them. Once in the crate, give them another treat and then calmly close the door. Staying silent, sit or stand quietly next to the crate for about three minutes then let them out and praise them. Here's a tip for you. It helps to have their favorite toy in the crate with them. After a few times of this, walk out of sight for just about 15 seconds and come right back in. Just do it calmly and quietly because you don't want to get your puppy all excited or think that you're playing a game with them. Start doubling the time you're out of sight. 15 seconds, then 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 2 minutes, etc. Working all the way up to 30 minutes. Do this over several days. Remember, if your puppy starts whining or crying, just stand or sit next to the crate until they stop before letting them out. How to crate train a Labrador puppy fast step four, leaving them in the crate. Once you hit the 30 minute mark and your puppy is staying calm and relaxed and hear that again, once you hit the 30 minute mark and your puppy is staying calm and relaxed in the crate, you can start leaving them in the crate when you're gone. When you're ready to leave, say your command word. If you have diligently been using your command word, they should be readily responding to it by now. And when they go into the crate, give them a treat and praise them. Then calm close the door and leave. Don't make a big deal about it and don't make a fuss. Don't get your puppy all excited. Just calmly and matter-of-factly close the door and leave. Start with short 10 to 20 minute trips. Slowly increase the time. Never leave your puppy in the crate for more than two hours. That's about all their bladder can handle. Adult dogs should never be in the crate for more than four hours.
How to crate train a Labrador puppy fast. Step five, the final step, night crate training. Put the crate in or near your bedroom. Say your command word, then give them a treat and praise them for going in. Calmly close the door and go to bed. After your puppy is comfortable sleeping in the crate, you can gradually move it away. Puppy will, puppies will need to go to the potty often through the night, so be sure to take them outside every time they start whimpering. Then when you bring them back in, just simply say your command word, Praise them for going in the crate, then calmly close the door. You have successfully crate trade your puppy. Congratulations. Hey, before we get to the pro tips, remember that question from the beginning? Do puppies prefer to sleep in your bed with you or in a crate? Well, what's your answer, bed or crate? The answer is crate. Dogs are den animals and they feel safer and more secure in small spaces like a crate. Here's a bonus question for you. Are well-trained dogs happier? Yes or no? And the answer is yes. Dogs want to please you and they feel more secure and happy when they are pleasing you. The problem is if you don't take the time to train them, they don't understand what behavior pleases you and consequently they don't understand what behavior displeases you. Then when they do something wrong, they are confused why you are upset. This can cause anxiety, stress, and general angst in a dog. Help your dog be happier and more secure by investing in a quality training program. You don't have to spend a lot of money and it just takes about 15 minutes a day for goodness sakes. Here's a link or I should say there is a link in the description below for a site that reviews dog training websites. Go to dogtrainingreviewa-z.com or just go down to the description below. Click the link review the dog trainings and buy one that you think's best for you do yourself and your dog a favor and train them and now for the pro tips but first if you got some value or enjoyed the video hit the like button come on do me a favor what's it gonna hurt just hit the like button all right Pro tip number one, when you're in step four and before you put your puppy in the crate for long periods of time, get it tired by playing with it then take it out for a walk so it can do its business before going into the crate. Pro tip number two, during night training, be sure to keep the crate close enough that you can hear your puppy whimpering when it needs to go to the bathroom. And pro tip number three, don't put towels, rugs, pillows, or other fabric items in the crate because at some point your lab puppy's going to start shredding them. Do leave an indestructible chew toy like a Kong in the crate, but nothing too small or they can have little bits that can be chewed off and might become a choking hazard. Hey, here's a bonus pro Tip. If your Labrador puppy sounds like this, well, you didn't get a puppy, you got a cow. Okay, I know, pretty bad joke, but what do you want? It's a free video. All right, do yourself a favor. Click the link in the description below, read the reviews, find a quality training program, and buy one. Both you and your dog's life will be happier and more fulfilled. Do your lab a favor. Go to dogtrainingviewa-z.com, check out the reviews, or just go to the link in the description below. Hey, one last thing. If you like this video and you want more like it, then subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like the video and you don't want any more like it, eh, then don't subscribe to my channel. Hey, that's it for me, and thank you for watching.